Hey everyone, welcome back. So, two lures. We're going to compare natural versus bright. We're going to go for a trout pattern. And we're going to start off by base coating with some titanium white mixed with some UVLS. So I'm going to get that done and I'll be right back. Some metallic white in the brush. We'll go with the natural one first and we're just going to paint along the belly here. We have some wicked aluminum and we'll spray the back and just kind of meet it halfway down on that lateral line. Okay, next we've taken some fluorescent hot pink, mixed it with titanium white at a ratio of 20 drops pink. 15 drops white. Then we have some sap green hue. Straight along the back, do a line. Come in with the R-Tool stencil. Just to add a little bit of texture. What do I want? Right here. Do some around the eye. Have some green gold in the brush. And we'll basically just kind of aim above the lateral line. Now we have some transparent red. Aim inside the mouth. We have some transparent black in the brush. Our modeled stencil from Anarchy. I've taped off just the wider spaced modeling. If we need more, we can always add more. Okay, so for the first attempt, I used the modeled stencil, thinking that it would be suitable for this lure. What I quickly found was the shape of this lure 
makes it very difficult for this stencil to wrap around properly. So I kept on getting these really blurred out dots in the bottom, which is far from like that crisp, clean dot that I was hoping for. So we're going to use our Molotov marker. This is a, a blank one that I filled with some black. And we're just going to proceed with putting some dots, spots, all over. I'm putting a lot of focus on keeping the pen as perpendicular as possible to the lure. And based on my reference photo, we're going to try to avoid that pink line as much as possible. I'm going to put a few more closer to the tail. All right, now for the uh, the bright colored one. So, fluorescent hot pink, no mixing, just straight up in the brush. And we're basically just gonna do the same pattern. So because it's the same pattern, we'll just fast forward as much as possible. And uh, the colors I'm using here, obviously the Jacquard fluorescent pink, wicked fluorescent chartreuse, wicked fluorescent green, and uh, Jacquard fluorescent violet, I believe it is. Uh, and you're basically just substituting one for one, same pattern. This will also give me a chance to kind of talk about why this video is so late. So uh, I typically use KBS spray, uh, Diamond Clear, for, uh, for the videos that I make for you guys. Uh, it's a very low build uh, product, which means that it's not very thick and it gives a nice presentation on camera. Uh, but for some reason, I, I think I have an idea, it, it actually caused the paint uh, to warp and crackle underneath. So I think it was because I tried to rush it. So what I typically do is give it a spray, put it in a little box with a vent on and everything else and just let it cure. Because I was impatient, I took it outside where it's super humid in the garage and hoped it would uh, dry quicker. So I think it dried way too quick and yeah, it, it caused problems. Uh, if you look here, this is just a, a little test run that I did to see how uh, I can make that pink stripe look a little more clean. Uh, I'm going to do this technique in another video coming up soon. Uh, but I kind of wanted to show it to you right there, how you basically just spray over top, wipe over with uh, airbrush cleaner, and you get that nice, that nice clean line. Ultimately, I did not end up going with this pattern, but I did want to just show you kind of how it looked. Then we'll put some fluorescent orange in the mouth. Got some UV resin that I'll paint on these. Uh, cure it and take it out fishing. All right, here they are out in the wild. A couple of poppers. It's been really hot here lately, so I think uh, the water's gonna warm up and hopefully we get some luck on these. We'll go with the uh, natural looking one first and uh, let's, let's see how it goes. Little, little swipe at it right there.
Oh, little pike right there. Well, there's a lot of interest in it. Probably just suck at this, and that's why they're not biting. Okay, let's switch up to the uh, fluorescent one. People get more commitment from the fish now. Little swipe right there again. Come on. So this little creek is like full of pike. I'm wondering if there's like little rock bass in here too that are uh, taking little swipes at it but can't quite fit in its mouth. Okay, good news. I see an A&W cup over there. Fish love A&W cups. So I think we're gonna uh, pull one out of here. Big swell there. Now it's a recovery mission. Okay, I see it. Stuck on a weedy rock. Okay, I think we got it. Oh, come on. All right, we got it, we saved it. The things you do for a custom lure, eh? Something just jumped at it. Took a big swipe. Oh, we got a beaver or something coming our way.
There he goes. What's that? Is that an otter or a beaver? That's a beaver. It is a beaver. Yeah. I'm surprised that he, uh, between you and us, uh, he didn't clap. Yeah. Just no fear, eh? Yeah. That's a city beaver right there. That's amazing. Can you lock? Lots of swipes, but not no no full commitment. Lots of little guys taking swipes at it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy your ride. Like no, <laughs> I'll pass. So I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that Operation Failure was a complete success. The bad news is that we didn't get to touch any fish. Uh, tons of little swipes from uh, from pike, uh, little pike. Uh, still even nice to, to see one up close. But, uh, I mean, we saw a beaver, saw, uh, saw a bunch of geese. And well, geese own this city, by the way. So, uh, yeah, so I saw some of them. And, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be it for, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and uh, comment below uh, what you want to see. Did you enjoy seeing this, uh, this fishing? And have a great night. Bye.